everybody, my name is Alicia and I'm going to make a video called 10 things most, most, like not all, most women hate about men. Number one, most women, I say almost, actually I don't think any women, like it when guys sag their pants. Like, it's only sexy, like, no, okay? Like, I've never heard a girl go, oh my god, I just saw this cute guy the other day. What did he look like? Well, he was tall and he was sagging his pants and he was just so cute. Like, oh my god, when I saw him sagging his pants, oh bitch, I just wanted to get in that shit. That doesn't happen. Number two, terrible manners. I'm not talking about swearing. I'm talking about like if we're out eating and like you're just being a pig and you're being rude to the waitress and you don't even ask me about my day or anything. Like you're just being, oh, it's all about you. It's all about you. Yeah. You're just asking to be alone. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go on a date with you ever again. Why would I want to? This one is one you really need to listen to. Number three, anytime the word bitch is used, with one rare exception, in the bedroom, sometimes, most likely not though. <laughs> We just don't like being called it. Like, I don't know why anybody would. It's not a good term. It's very, um, very rude. Number four. Anytime you blame my anger on my period, you're asking to get yelled at. I swear to God, every girl hates this. What are we not allowed to have bad days? We're not allowed to get mad because it's our period? I'm not on my period, bitch. I'm about to fuck you up, though. I'm about to stab your ass while you're fucking crying, and I'm gonna be like, look who's bleeding now, ho! Oh my god, it's you! Don't ever, ever blame me on my period. Unless you want to severely get yelled at. I swear. Bitch, I will fuck you up. I will if you keep fucking blaming it on my period. On my period. I'll fucking stab you. <laughs> Swear to God. And you will be the one bleeding. Yeah. Number five. I think more girls agree with this one than most of them. When you go and you get food and you don't bring me any. And that goes for drinks too. Like, you could have at least asked. I was hungry. Okay? Even if I wasn't hungry, at least let me eat off of your stuff. Like, that's just nice, okay? Us girls share our food. What the fuck, bro? If I like you and everything, and you're not sharing your fucking food, you're my boyfriend, and you ain't sharing food with me, I'm gonna find a new boyfriend. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But. Bitch, next time you ask for food, I'm gonna fucking sit there. I'm gonna eat exactly what you asked right in front of you. I'm gonna be like, oh, you asked for something? Yeah. You even said you heard me, and you're like, okay, I'll grab it for you. Oh, sorry. This is payback, bitch. Number six is one that I know I personally hate, and every girl that I know pretty much personally hates the same thing too. Like, I know there might be like one or two friends that say, oh, it's not that big of a deal, but I'm sure as soon as it happens right in front of them, they would be like, uh, uh, no. And that is rubbernecking. Bitch, I see you. You ain't slick. I saw every single little, mm, hey, baby, in your head. I saw every single, you know, I'm undressing her with my fucking mind. Oh yeah, I'd get in there. I'd 
begin now. A bitch. A one. No. No rubber necking. Rubber necking? No. You're a seven. If you say anything negative about my weight, even if you try to save it by saying something, like, you'll be like, wow, you look like you might have gained some weight, but it looks cute. Uh-uh. I just took that as an insult. I took that as a fight me. You know, bitch, <laughs> bitch, you want to talk about somebody that's gained some weight, why don't you look at your fucking self hope? Okay, a lot of times when a guy says that to me, he's gained at least 20 pounds and I've gained five. <laughs> you need to gain some weight where your dick's supposed to be. Oh shit, she just told him, oh my god. <laughs> you can't handle all this courageousness. I'm not even that big, okay? Like, fuck it. You could say I need to lose some weight. I'll <laughs> lose the weight when I drop your ass. Fuck you. Number eight. Never compare this to other women, especially body-wise. Like if you're saying, you know, I don't care. If you say I look like JLo, I swear to God though, a lot of times I still don't take that as a compliment. I don't know why. It's just not a compliment to me. I want to look like me. Like why, why would I want to look like JLo? Thanks, I got a nice ass then or something. I don't know. I don't know exactly what you're trying to get at. Like, some people don't like how JLo looks. Did you ever think of that one? You know, maybe I just want to look like myself. Huh? You know, you might be, you know, there's one person that most women wouldn't mind me compared to, and that's Beyonce. Because Beyonce is queen. She has the crown. Okay? Okay? But I still wouldn't do it. <laughs> If you want to say something nice about it, the only time that I know I would like getting a compliment saying that this about, you know, comparing me to somebody is if someone said, I sound like Beyonce, okay, when I'm singing, if I sound like Beyonce, I'm taking that as a compliment. If I sound like fucking, you know, Amy Lee from Evanescence, I'm taking it as a compliment, okay? Singing is usually the only time that I take that as a compliment. Because, you know, that just means, like, especially if I hear a bunch of different people saying that I sound like different people, that just means that I feel like I have this big range of, like, accents and shit. Or so, I don't know. This is one that I know both guys and girls hate, but, yeah, guys tend to do it more. Number nine. Okay. Taking our phones without asking. I know you guys hate it. Us girls hate it too. Like, if you would just ask, we'd probably let you. Anyways, like, <laughs> fucking, <laughs> all my best friends are allowed to. Why wouldn't you be allowed to? Like, fucking, what am I gonna be hiding that I can't show my best friend? Okay? But, um, yeah, most of you are whipping out and won't ask. So, yeah, if I find, if I come out and I see you looking through my phone and you do not have permission, go. Go. Why are you not left yet? Bye. <laughs> Number ten. Telling us you're going to bed, then sitting on social media, or not messaging us back is even worse. <laughs> and then we see you on social media. Like what the hell? I see you on social media, but did you can't? Message me back. Like, what the hell? I see you hope. You ain't a hope, but yeah. I'm not happy. Root. 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 That's pretty much, at least for me, I've heard a lot of girls say shit like that too. Like, it's not just things that I personally hate. I do personally hate every single one of those. A fucking. Mmm, I swear to God, I might be tiny, but I'm furious. Everywhere I go, most girls don't like these. The only one that I would say that maybe you could get away with is number eight, because some girls do like to be compared. That's the only one that, like, that one's, like, kind of one that I'm not a big fan of, and I know some girls are super against that, but 
all the other ones, <laughs> you might as well run. I'm not kidding. I said run. Okay, run. That's some things that most women hate about men. My name is Alicia. Feel free to subscribe and all that good jails. Bye. 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 Bye.